Let's see how we can use GitX models to manage model Git repositories. First, get the app from the GitHub Marketplace and subscribe for a free plan. Select the specific repositories to install if you wish. Run permissions. This is the main management screen of GitX Models app. We have two application repositories, App1 and App2, two shared libraries, Lab1 and Lib2, and the Mono repo to put it all together. Let's add a shared library to the first application. Select the branch to add the model to and click Add Model. Enter the name for the new model folder. Select the repository to add as model and the branch in it. You can also change the way the commits history is synchronized, but you may just use the default option. Click Apply Changes. Now let's set the same library to another app repository. Select App2 and the branch in it and click Add Model. Again, enter the name to the new model folder and select the branch in it. We may choose to rebase and squash model commits this time. Apply changes. Now let's create a Mono repo with both applications and the shared library in it. If you don't see the branches in the repository, click Reload. Select the branch and click Add Model. Fill in the fields, we are now adding App2 to the Mono repo. Apply changes. Now let's create one more model for the second application. And the third model to add the shared library directly to the Mono repo. Now let's see how it works, going back to GitHub. Let's go to the F1 repository. As you may see, there's a lib1 folder in it and it's synchronized with the lib1 repository. Now let's go to App2. Same thing here, a lib1 folder also synchronized with the lib1 repository. Now let's see what's going on on the Monaripa. The three folders are there for three models we created in this repository. Now let's see how the synchronization works. Let's change something in lib1. Commit the changes. Now let's check if these changes appear in the lib1 folder in the app1 repository. And there they are, the files have been synchronized. Now let's check them on the repo. First we check the lib1 folder which is synchronized directly with the lib1 repository. All fine there, changes were applied in the background. Now check in the app1 folder that also contains the lib1 folder. And they're all there too. And the app2 folder. All in place.
Now let's make some changes to the same file from the lib1 subfolder inside the f2 folder in the Munaripo repository. Commit the changes. Now let's see if these changes were applied to the model repositories. In app one lib one the changes are applied. And in the lib one repository the changes are applied too. Let's get back to the Gitx models management screen. In the conflict tab you may see if synchronization failed, and in the activity tab you can see all the synchronizations which were there. This is how Gitx models work. Visit http for more information.